everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. We're focusing on Shane Bowers, 2017 draft eligible center, coming to you from the Waterloo Blackhawks in Halifax, Nova Scotia. How did he get from Halifax to the Waterloo Blackhawks? Well, it's an interesting story. Uh, he used the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, who drafted him. He was actually drafted by Cape Breton in the fourth overall in the 2015 Q draft, and then uh, St. John last year. Declined going to both places and then went to the Waterloo and will be going to Boston University this fall. Uh, plays a heavy game, does a little bit of everything, kind of a jack of all trades. A real pro's pro, real nose for the game. It's a tomorrow. So PFT commenters' uh, favorite sayings. Um, I think he projects in the NHL as a middle six forward. I mean, I, I think he's a little bit more better offensively than he's getting credit for. Me was ninth or tenth in the USA Jones score this year. As a draft eligible, and that's that's like it's really not, you know, no, it's not a high octane offensive league. It has never really been. You know, average of point of league, a point per game that in the USHL is a really big deal. And I had 51 points in 60 games, so he didn't average point a game, but it was you catch my drift. Um, and again, you know, I, I like the way you know he uses his IQ to get, you know, create scoring chances and, and take away scoring chances, which I know sounds like a cliche, but, you know, he does remind me a little bit of Jacob Frisbacka Carlson, uh, who went to BU two years ago, and actually just signed with the Bruins uh, a few months ago, uh, who, you know, went from a foreign country to the USHL to Boston University, but, you know, in terms of both, both of them being responsible, reliable, two-way, you know, centers, I think that's, you know, something to, to strive for, and again, you know, he looks like a guy you look at and say, he's going to be a National Hockey League player. You know, is he going to be a checker, an energy guy? I think he's Worst case scenario, he's a very, very good energy player at the next level. And I think, you know, there's a, there's a good chance playing at Boston University, playing for Dave Quinn, um, that he expands his offensive repertoire. And he's probably going to go at the end of the first round. I think there's plenty there between his really lack of a downside and I think the fact that he, he does have room to grow and he's going to an institution known for creating ho quality hockey players. Um, you know, that you, if you're a GM, you'll get him going, all right. You know, I can I can figure out a role for this kid. Don't know what it's gonna be, but there is one for my for him and my organization. So again, one of those situations that I uh, I'm very intrigued to watch him play at uh, on Combat next season. I think he's gonna be a good fit. And I mean, dare I say, he slides in kind of seamlessly to uh, what the role JFK played last year for the Terriers. I mean, I know it's gonna be some some growing pains, but something to keep an eye on as the days and weeks and months go on. Anyway, that's all I got episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes to the season and beyond. Later, guys.